Now we've isolated every address, every valid address in column D. So any valid address in column B will have the number 1 in column D. I want to filter out that information. The easiest way for me to do that is to take this data and create a table out of this worksheet. So I'm going to click on cell A1, make sure you're on the Home tab, click Format as Table, it doesn't matter which format you use for this exercise. A1 to A76, it uh, goes to the last row here of actual data, so my last bit of information is in row 76. I want this to go to column D, so I will change that. I do not have headers, so I click on that. Click on OK. When this message comes up, you just click on Yes because you want it to overlap. And now you have this created or set up as a table. Notice the arrows. When you create tables for your data, you can manipulate the data and sort the data uh, in several different ways. Now, can you sort the data and information in Excel without a table? Absolutely. Can you isolate records or cells in a, in a worksheet without filtering it, or excuse me, without creating a table? Absolutely. But this is a very easy way to do things. When you have large data sets and you need to find data, replace data, etc., etc., it's just easier to use a table. So here I know that every valid address has a 1 in here. So I'm going to click on column 4 right here. Do you see where it says select all? I'm going to click that off and click 1 click on this and now it only shows me valid addresses and that's because I did the filter you see here I filtered this column okay now I want to actually copy this information here those are all the good addresses I'm going to paste it starting in cell A1. Now I do not want the function, the concatenate function. All I want are the values. So I'm going to click paste values. Now I'm going to try to use the um, text to columns wizard. So if I click on the data tab, there's the selection, text to columns. I want it delimited. I click on Next. I'm delimiting it with a comma. That's what I want to do. See how it separates out my information? I click on Next. I want everything in here to be as a text uh, because if you don't format everything as a text, if you have a number value like a zip code and it would start with a zero, it would leave that zero off. So we want to format it as a text that way Excel assumes it's a text value and it will not try to, uh, to you know, not display leading zeros. Okay, so I did the text to columns and it separated everything. It looks good. But there's one thing that I did not anticipate. For some reason, it didn't separate uh, the state from the zip code. Uh, if you look back in the beginning of the lab, the beginning of the work area, uh, you could probably find out why it didn't. Uh, there is a reason, uh, but at this point I know that I have to get that fixed because I need that separated. So instead of going all the way back to the beginning and trying to find out why and to fix it at that point, um, it might just be easier to fix it here. So that's what I'm going to do. In column F, I'm going to use the left function. I'm going to get rid of any extraneous spaces. And I'm going to pull off two positions from the left. That's going to give me the state. Column G, I'm going to use the right function with the trim. Pull off the zip code. I'm going to insert some columns between D and E. 
I'm going to like copy. I'm going to paste values because I don't want the actual function. I just want the values. Copy, paste values. I'm going to delete this row or column and delete this column. Notice the green triangles. We don't like green triangles. I selected this all and I want to ignore the error. It's just saying the number is stored as text and we know that. So I ignore the error. And now I delete column D. And my information is set up exactly how I want it and then I can manipulate it how I would like to.